Happy Independence Day, Warfighter Nation. This is Ron with Warfighter Ranch and Isaiah 68. And today we've got a special freedom search and recognition mission honoring a warfighter. No better day to do that. Be watchful, stand firm in the faith, act like men, be strong. He was a bold sailor, now he's a bold soldier in God's army. This search and recognition mission recognizes fellow Operation Iraqi Freedom veteran and U.S. Navy veteran Tim Bold. James 1.17 tells us every good gift and every perfect gift is from above, coming down from the Father of lights, with whom there is no variation or shadow due to change. Really? 550 cord? How do you possibly get a sermon out of parachute cord? Well, it's not as much of a stretch as you might think. When I started tying knots, I started out like everyone else with the basic snake braid and its distant cousin, the cobra braid. Which, honestly, is kind of stupid because it's just a double snake. Yeah, it may add thickness, but no variety or style. This is not the way. Everyone does those braids. And I wanted to do something different. Besides, now I was tying knots for the Lord, so uh, no snakes. As time went along and requests began to come in, I was researching further into it. I, I learned that there's a whole host of unique braids out there that people have concocted over the years. If you, if you want to go really deep down the rabbit hole on YouTube when it comes to 550 cord, or anything else, you really can. I still wanted something different, not just for creative purposes, but because it had to have meaning. It had to do more than just look pretty. And we all know military things can't be decent looking, and they should all be in degree. Fact, I wanted something no one else was doing, so I created three signature braids of our own, and we put a modern twist on a popular fan favorite. So there's only four that we really ever use. And the favorite of mine is this one right here that actually has a dual meaning. Some, especially our ladies out there, may know this as the fishtail braid, or as we like to call it, the infinity braid. If you turn the piece on its side, the braid itself resembles the infinity symbol representing God's infinite love for us. If you try to pinch it, you can't. It's wound too tightly. It's simply too strong. Just like God's love. So now that we know where the source of our strength comes from, the infinite love of God, we move down the piece to its focal point, the charm, where we see with our friend Tim service, depicted here by the gunner's mate insignia on it. In this case, this denotes keeping your focus on loving your fellow man. And then the infinity braid continues back until it reaches the buckle where we maintain our strength. Simple in its appearance, yet vital in importance, the buckle itself holds the key to this entire piece. If the buckle isn't fastened properly, keeping a connection, then the piece can fall away and not serve its purpose. Very similarly, if we lose our connection with God, we can very easily fall away and lose our purpose. And just like you, each piece is a one of a kind, just the way God made you. After his service in the war, my man Tim entered the incredibly dangerous world of corrections. I can't tell you how much respect we have around here for the folks in the corrections community. You know, guards throughout the Bible witnessed key moments of the early church. After the resurrection of Jesus, those guards who had to be confused were put to death for failing their duties. 
Yeah, I see now how that whole other duties as a sign thing does have a potential downside. And then there's the centurion who became the first convert. And then we come to another guard, a guard in Philippi who guarded over Paul and Silas during their imprisonment after they were flogged, beaten, and chained up in the stocks. After an earthquake shook the prison, allowing an opportunity for Paul and others to escape, they simply stood fast instead of making a run for it. This saved the guard's life, as he had assumed initially that they had escaped and he would be forced by Roman law to commit suicide for said failure. As he drew his sword to take his own life, he heard voices from the rubble telling him to stop. It was Paul and Silas. He was so blown away in shock, so grateful in an instant, he asked Paul, what must I do to be saved? He brought all of them back to his home to meet his family. Everybody got baptized, had a big old meal, and the next day, the magistrates set them free. Pretty soon, our brother Tim's going to be headed down to the Maximum Security Robertson Unit over in Abilene, Texas. And along with this, we send him our prayers as he attempts to share the good news of the gospel with the inmates. Tim is a man who once fell down six times, but got up seven. And now he seeks to help others to do the same. It's a very special calling indeed to minister to the lost in prison. That is a truly divine mission, my friend. And we know God has big plans for you in your new Warfighter Battle Group prison ministry. After all, God didn't give you the surname Bold for no reason.